Hello guys, today I want to tell you a story of debugging of Eloquent and MySQL performance with enum and foreign keys integer. I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks when I discovered that in one of the demo projects the where status new by enum is faster than where status id by integer foreign key. So I decided to dig deeper why and I've published my findings in a tutorial on Laravel Daily.com. The full tutorial is available for premium members but in this video I will show you the main things that I found and why it may or may not be faster with enum and foreign keys. So I will read this article for you skipping some parts which will be only for premium members but you would still get the idea. So I will zoom that in and here's the story. The scenario is from demo filament, from the official filament demo, where this badge of new orders executes this SQL query under the hood. And status is an enum field. Nothing really fancy here, no index in the database, and according to Laravel debug bar, it takes 150 milliseconds on my local server with 1 million orders seated. And my initial idea for that was let's change it to status ID with foreign key integer, which should be faster. So I did exactly that. I've created two new tables, status and tiny status models with migrations and database tables. And this is the part that I will skip actually for premium members. So if you want to have the full migration seeds and also repository of the full code, subscribe to the membership. But meanwhile, the actual result of that change was this. So status was the old field. And then I added two new fields with integers with foreign keys. And then I measured that one, changing the condition from where status new in the filament to status ID one. And surprisingly, it was slower. So instead of 150 milliseconds, I had 300. On the second attempt, it was 281. And then tiny status ID, which is tiny integer, wasn't better. It was the same around 300 milliseconds. Then I took benchmark Laravel class to actually loop through 10 iterations of the same eloquent statement. And the results were pretty clear. Enum was for some reason faster than those two integers. Tiny integer was a bit faster than big integer for reason, but not by much. The next idea was, of course, about indexes. Are they being used? Slow select query usually is solved with indexes. So by default, Laravel, when you do foreign or foreign ID, it adds the index to that foreign ID column. So that was the situation in that table. So customer ID and number was from filament by default. And those two foreign keys with status ID and tiny status ID were indeed indexed. And also I tried to use explain sentence in MySQL here and used a great tool called MySQL explain by Tobias Petri, which showed that for enum, there's no index to be used. And then for those two fields, the index was successfully used. Length of the index for big integer is eight bytes. And then for tiny int is one byte. But what it showed is that indexes were actually used. So there was nothing wrong with that part. Despite that, enum full scan table was still faster. Then I thought, what is that nested loop join for those foreign keys? So I decided to do another experiment with status number field without foreign key. I thought maybe foreign key is the reason. So if joining another table for some checking, then that may be the reason of the slowness. So I added status number with DB statement of updating and the result was still the same, still around 300 milliseconds. Added that to benchmark, still same thing. No foreign key is still within 260 milliseconds, still slower than the enum. So foreign key was not the reason. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing that benchmark on my local MacBook Pro with M3 processor. So imagine that 260 milliseconds, what would that be on a live server, which may be much cheaper? And I actually decided to measure that on the cheapest remote digital ocean droplet. And this is the part I will intentionally skip from this video. Again, something for premium members, if you want to see what that number is on the live server and how much slower that is. I will just say that the slowness is not in percentages, but in how many times it is slower. Meanwhile, let's get back to the investigation. The idea that actually belongs to my colleague Modestas was about deleted at. So that model of the order 
uses soft deletes. And I thought, since it uses soft deletes for both enum and tiny int, I'm comparing apples to apples here and it's not really affecting the performance. But just out of curiosity, I removed soft deletes and now instead of 260 milliseconds for tiny status, there was only 23 milliseconds. And then I thought, wait a minute, let's dig deeper and try to debug that one. And the benchmark for all of those four queries showed completely different results. So now the enum was slower and not just slower, but miles away slower than those integer fields. And this is something that I was actually expecting when the initial idea of that optimization was started. I was expecting numbers to be faster than where by enum without any index. So in other words, if we remove deleted at, enum speed didn't change, but integer speed skyrocketed. But of course, we cannot just remove deleted at because it's part of our application, we need to work within that constraint. And the solution to that that we came up with, again with my colleague Modestas, is composite index. Index on the field, including deleted at, so index on a few fields. So we tried those. Index on those two, index on those two, and two more pairs. And of course, we returned use soft deletes, and this was the result. Now the query with enum was 31 milliseconds instead of 150, so five times faster. And the benchmark showed something along the lines what I was expecting in the very initial idea. I finally kind of found the spot of actually comparing apples to apples with the same situation where numbers are marginally faster than enums, but not by a huge margin. And in this scenario, interestingly, tiny integer doesn't get much performance difference, although it takes less space on disk. And speaking of space, too many indexes is another problem to be having. So when launching the SQL query for index size, this is the result. So remember, each of the indexes that you add to the database table adds to the size of the database structure. In our case, for a million records, the size of the indexes was 17 or 25 megabytes in addition to the original indexes on that table from filament so be careful when adding too many indexes because that's what may happen index size actually becomes bigger than the data size itself which may not be a problem and you may not feel that but just keep in mind that the size gets bigger the final part of that tutorial was about eloquent caching, so another solution to this problem, so instead of having count on each page, in this case for menu item, in the sidebar you can cache the results for an hour or so, so I've showed how to do that, and I'll also leave that part for premium members of Laravel Daily. As well as, as I mentioned, the full repository for that experiment so you can play around yourself, including the SQL file that contains million records of orders to reproduce that scenario. And this article is just one example of premium tutorials on Laravel Daily. So in addition to courses, sometimes we publish just longer article, deeper dives on something like 17 Laravel bad practices, reverb demo, Redis in Laravel, 5,000 words. So you get the access to all of those as a Laravel Daily Premium member. Now, what do you think about my experiment in general? So enums versus integers and deleted add. I'm actually planning a separate video, separate investigation specifically on deleted add and indexing that separately. So expect something on that topic from me in upcoming weeks on this channel. But meanwhile, we can discuss the current experiment and investigation. What do you think? Let's have a chat in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.